Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how to get much better results using the Google Magic Eraser tool and unfortunately this right now is available I think only on Pixel phones and especially Pixel 6 phones, I'm not sure about the other Pixel phones but it's definitely not available for the other Android users. Now I have a video on GIMP which is an old video but uh, it's basically about the same thing, how to remove people and objects from a photograph. I'll put the link in the description to that. Also, I may make a new updated version of that video using the same image I'm using here. So look forward to that in the upcoming videos. Now, for those of you who have access to this tool, I'll show you how to get much better results. Um, first thing, of course, open the image. This is, as you can see, uh, my phone screen here so you open the image that you want to edit uh, tap on it to access the settings tap on the edit option then go down here to the tools and tap on the magic eraser now it automatically selects uh, what it thinks you might want to remove now I want to keep the person in the middle and uh, remove the other objects but to do this, uh, I am not going to use the erase all option, but just tap on the uh, person on the right. So you can see how this works and you see pretty bad result. You can see the shadow. If I zoom in, you can see it's just not a very good result. So let's actually undo this using this option down here. And let's close this by tapping the X button and just this way we're going to exit the... Um, suggested options and the first trick I want to show you is to always zoom in as much as you can when you try to remove stuff so we want to remove this guy here so zoom in as much as the image will allow you then with your finger I'm going to paint over it paint on the shadow as well like this now let it go to work and you see what we have here now it's not a better result but still you can see the ripples around it the texture the first this is much smoother and it doesn't look that great now if you zoom out you're not going to be able to actually see much of it but this can be much better now you see that other parts of the image we also have uh, less ripples so it's not entirely unnatural but how can we improve this so i've discovered this trick that if you do this kind of a zigzaggy thing start outside this uh, area which we affected and just go like this do this kind of a zigzaggy thing and you can see now the results are much better it seems to be taking texture this way from the surrounding areas and mixing it up with this part of the image that we initially affected and this looks much better it's much more natural than what we had before so this is basically the big trick here is this zigzaggy action now for smaller objects you don't need to do this you can just tap like this and you'll see that it's going to remove them pretty well now I think we had something let me undo this I think we had some other stuff over here so I'm going to tap on this to remove it pretty well this here again we're not going to need the, on the horizon we have some bolts I'm going to leave those so that's it pretty good result I mean we have a little bit maybe left over of the shadow here can try to get rid of this yes and it looks pretty good and that's it guys for this video hope it was useful if it was please subscribe if you're new visit the channel for much more leave a like if you want to support the channel you can do that by using the thanks button below the videos or you can sign up for the patreon links in the description and i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now